Okay, so here's something interesting, guys. So despite the most recent regulatory news that we've gotten out of the UK saying that the derivative markets on Binance Smart Chain have been banned, Binance is still the number one most visited crypto exchange despite the most recent news now although in the months of june and may it was down 40 percent it still managed to have the most web volume traffic with 150 million visits in the month of june alone and if you guys are wondering why that is it's because binance is the biggest exchange it's not that owning bnb is banned but it, it's all about banning the website and the derivative market in regards to shorting on Binance. I live in Canada and it's the same thing. You just can't get money in directly from your bank. You've got to jump through hoops in order to get money in. Whether you're transferring tokens from a different exchange, say crypto.com to Binance in order to purchase various tokens on the platform. And if you call your bank, they'll tell you that they don't allow transferring money into gambling sites, which is kind of strange because I live in Canada and the Canadian Lottery Corporation if you live out here in Canada and you play poker, we have our own poker platform, which is playnow.com, which is very similar to poker stars, but 10 times better. If you play Texas Hold'em poker, you would love playnow.com because it's a small community. It's only available for Canadians. So you don't get a whole bunch of loosey goosey tournaments, but that's another topic. The reason why I'm talking about this is because if you call your bank and you say, how come I can't get money into Binance? They'll tell you, we don't allow money transfer into gambling sites yet the Canadian Lottery Corporation allows us to play on playnow.com and purchase our lottery tickets online every week whenever you want to so I find that very strange it's the same thing out here in Canada but you can still access the website you just can't get money in there and to be honest I don't do any trading on Binance at all it's all about pancake swap and in order for you to use pancake swap you have to own BNB token and this is why the BNB token has been able to hold its position because of all the people building on the Binance smart chain using the token as well as having to purchase the token to purchase other tokens in PancakeSwap. And when we look at this list and we look at the top 10 cryptos, it should actually scare you and keep you a little bit away from some of the bigger, larger cap coins because you can see in the sixth place, we've got Bybit Exchange. And we know anybody that is trading on Bybit is all about shorting Bitcoin and Ethereum. But what's interesting here is if we look at the fourth place, you got PancakeSwap in the number fourth spot for the most web volume traffic with 18 million visits in the month of June alone. And that has everything to do with Binance, BNB coin, because in order for you to trade on PancakeSwap, you have to own BNB coin. And all the projects that are currently being built on the Binance Smart Chain because of low transaction fees and high transaction speeds, this is the reason why BNB coin has held its price. Guys, if you don't own any BNB for whatever reason, now is the time to be accumulating as much as you can while the price is down. When we look back a month, BNB was over a hundred billion dollar market cap and we dropped down to about a 50 billion dollar market cap. So there is easily a 2x to the all time high, but I truly think it doesn't stop there with, with more projects being built on the Binance Smart Chain and more people having to hold BNB coin in order to trade in the DEX exchanges like pancake swap now now if you guys follow my channel there have been some projects most recently that i was promoting that turned out to be bad seeds and they turned out to be scam coins and i hate those people and those projects for doing that guys because it only takes one bad seed to throw some dirt and ruin it for everybody else but there is a project that i've actually been following for the past few weeks and most recently in the last day actually yesterday they got listed on coin market cap and that is the sonar project the ping token very low market cap currently you can only purchase on PancakeSwap, but they've most recently gotten their listing here on CoinMarketCap as well as CoinGecko. And if we go over to the Sonar website over here, sonarplatform.io, we can read a little bit about the Sonar project. So the next gen crypto tracking dashboard, meet the most complete and easy to use tracking 
and analytics tool for the Binance Smart Chain and Ethereum network. And what separates Sonar from all the other tracking dashboards out there is they go more in depth in regards to tracking and technical analysis, as well as tracking social media volume in regards to your favorite tokens. They've also got a Web3 digital wallet in the works, similar to what Trust Wallet is, so a Web3 wallet for you to connect to various dApps and swaps, as well as store your NFTs and your tokens all in one place. Very much what Trust Wallet is. A very ambitious roadmap, first class tokenomics, token staked in PancakeSwap liquidity, your tokens, your money makes money as soon as you purchase, and the team is actually doxxed. Combined, the chief operators have 28 years experience. Guys, a lot of potential for this project to soar. Market cap is very low. Definitely something you want to be looking into. The token just got listed on CoinMarketCap and you can find it in the most recently added list. Definitely a token you want to look into. I truly think the project has a lot of promise and could very well see mass adoption for their Web3 Sonar Ping wallet. Being able to connect to dApps and swaps, store your tokens and your NFTs, first class. Anyways, guys, I'm going to leave it at that. As always, as mentioned, not financial advice. You got to do your own technical analysis. But if you like the video, smash that like button below. Subscribe to my channel. Join my Patreon if you haven't already. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.